Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to enable Microsoft Copilot for model driven apps. Before we jump to the demo, if you came for the first time on my channel, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and punch the bell icon to get the notification for every new video I upload. And here is the short intro. Right now, Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and uh, let me click on the Show All, and then we want to go in the All Admin Centers to find out the Power Apps Admin Center. Yeah. Here it is. Okay, and in here, I want to click on the Environments, and in this Environments, I need to select the environment in this case i only have one so let me just select it and click on this ellipses to go into the settings i can go from here or i can go from here itself in the settings we have to open this product section and under that we have to click on this behavior okay so when i click on this behavior i see the release channel the model driven app release channel which is set to auto right now but we need to change it to make it monthly channel so whatever release the power app is doing we need to receive it every month let me click on save the second change which we want to do is let me just go into the setting one more time open up the product section and under the features i need to enable this co-pilot which is in preview make it on right and the other thing is changing this drop down value from default to on this drop down value allow user users data to be analyzed by uh, ai powered chat for the ai powered chat experience requires license are there for the co-pilot so there are licenses needs to be taken up when we want to use the copilot there are different type of licenses available a standalone power app is in public preview and customer can opt in these features from the power platform that's what we done that's what we did right okay let me just go and scroll down at the bottom and click on save okay so i think both these settings which we want to make are done one is related that co-pilot preview and another one is for the release channel now i'm back into the microsoft environment and i think that the task which we want to perform in the admin center is done so i am in the make the power app in this power app i'm going to create a new power app which is going to be the blank model to one app and uh, i'm going to provide the name something as testing co-pilot let's say testing profile model and hit create so basically what it will do is we'll open up a new model driven app which is a blank model driven app it doesn't have anything into it so let me try to add uh, at least one page let me add one page with, uh, which can be a database table let me go and select let's say this account and excel card as the tables for my model driven app so that it will generate the sitemap Right. So as you can see, a new group has been created with the accounts view, accounts card view. And when I try to save it and then play it, it's asking me to publish and continue. So as you can see, the publish and continue is done. So now my app is published. So now let me just go and play this. So as you can see, my app is running as expected, the accounts and action card and there is one more thing which is available as a co-pilot. I can open it, I can open the co-pilot from here or I can open it from here as well. And there are different things which we can be performed using this co-pilot. I'm going to provide some examples. Let's see, I want to check how many rows with different city 
specific and uh, what it will go in this app it will try to find out the data and it says that there are eight rows with different cities in the data set that is an answer if you go and check it it is going to be like just like that please provide me with count i just misspell that here of rows for each city right even if it's misspelled the count word is misspelled it is going to take it and it is giving me the answer just as you can see it's, it's misspelled the sum of cities and the row counts are Dallas with one row if you go and check in this city the Dallas is there which is having one row in that oops I just click on it <laughs> no issues let me just go and uh, click back from here yeah click back and if we go and check for another uh, the Dallas is there right if you go for and check for the Los Angeles if we can check the Los Angeles is there with one row count the other other ones like red one with three rows and all that stuff if we click on the prompt guide this is see these three sections one is for act if I want to navigate to any other table I can just use this prompt let's say navigate to Excel cards right so as you can see navigated me to the Excel card entity instead of the accounts entity it's a blank entity so we don't have anything into that but that's how it works right and there are other examples available on the top like analyze what are the top 10 accounts with the highest revenue and it will go and look for the accounts with the highest revenue in the entities and it will provide the details let's say the fourth copy city power and light alpine sky house are the entities which are having the high revenue right so that is how we can use the copy this is very basic example how we can use the compiler there are a lot of things can be done right please do like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get video updates